Hi everyone, welcome to the channel if you're new, welcome back if you're a subscriber. Special thanks to all my patrons, my name's Neil, and today we're watching The Batman. I am excited, and I am nervous. The Dark Knight trilogy, Christopher Nolan's Batman, are my favorite superhero movies, bar none. They're my absolute favorite. Batman's always been my favorite superhero, and and now we've got a new take. And I'm intrigued. I've seen the trailer. It looks dark. It looks gritty. It looks like a bit of a throwback of a movie. It, it's got more. Uh, it's got a bit of more. A little, a little less superhero and a little more detective vibe, if that's what I'm picking up from from the trailer. And let's face it, sometimes trailers can be deceptive. I know we've got the Riddler. I know we've got Colin Farrell as the Penguin. I know we've got Catwoman, and we've got Robert Pattinson as Bruce Wayne slash the Batman. And a couple of years ago, I would have cringed at that idea. But I really dug them in Tenet, and I'm hearing good things, so I'm excited to see his take on it. But I really don't know too much about the plot of this movie. Is this, since it's a new, a new actor playing Batman, is this a reboot? Is this uh, an origin story? I feel like we've seen the Batman origin so many times, we don't need that story anymore. You know, there's certain there's certain, certain superheroes that, you know, we don't need the origin anymore. We don't need to know how they started. We know Spider-Man's story. We know Batman's story. Please don't give me another origin story. So I'm hoping that's not what this is, but perhaps it is. Perhaps it's a different take. Perhaps it's something new. So I'm, I'm, I'm curious. And like I said, I'm nervous too because don't do Batman wrong. You know, I'm, uh, but I'm optimistic. I think that's the important thing here. I'm optimistic and I'm excited to get into it. That being said, this is a long movie. This is like a three hour movie. So let's buckle in. Um, if you're interested, you can check out my full-length reaction over on my Patreon, patreon.com slash neiltalks. I have a funny feeling I'm going to have to do a lot of editing, editing to get this down to uh, a length and a format that YouTube gives me the thumbs up for. So there's probably going to be a ton that ended up on the cutting room floor. So if you want to see my full reaction, come check me out on Patreon. And with that... Let's get into it, guys. The Batman. All right, is this Batman's POV or Catwoman's? It feels like a cat burglar POV, maybe. Oh. Yeah, it's Halloween. It's Kid Ninja. Those are probably the Waynes. So if that's young Bruce, Whose POV is this? Murder and drug use are at historic highs. We have a masked vigilante running the show. Okay. Maybe this isn't the way it's. No. Why is she still tied? Okay. Dang. That wasn't sexy. That was just raw violence. I think this is the Riddler, right? There it is. This is more like serial killer vibes than your typical Batman villain. I'm intrigued. I'm loving the vibe so far. This does not feel like a superhero movie right now. This feels like Seven. We have a signal now. Or Zodiac, or... It's a warning to them. They think I'm hiding in the shadows. Could be anywhere. We haven't actually even seen him yet. What's broke? But I am the shadows. Why is he only half painted? Is he like an initiate? First time out. The hell are you supposed to be? 
They don't know him yet. I'm vengeance. But they know about him. No, 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 no. Okay. He's bulletproof and he's got some sort of shock capability in his gloves. It's like half Joker, half Two-Face, but I don't think he's related to either. Nothing about this show is stylized yet. It's all just grit and reality. He's with me, officer. Are you kidding me, sir? No more lies. Thumb was severed. He was alive when it was cut off. Your secret friend. Ooh. Having a clue. Let's play a game, just me and you. What does a liar do when he's dead? Cipher too. Yeah, this is super Zodiac killer. Wait. He's involved in this? No, he's not involved. How do you know? He's a goddamn vigilante! The riddle. Mm. What does a liar do when he's dead? He lies still. So Gordon's not commissioner. I want him out of here. So it's a bit of a rewind wow. for sure. Good found him. I wish I could say I'm making a difference. But I don't know. Something in the way. You, you, you got me hooked with the Nirvana soundtrack, too. Robert, the city's eating itself. Maybe it's beyond saving. But I have to try. I have to force myself to remember. Everything that happened. Ah, oh, so he records it all with his... with his contacts. Oh, and he's got obsessive journals. In an eerie coincidence, it was 20 years ago this week that celebrated billionaire philanthropist Dr. Thomas Wayne and his wife Martha were slain during Wayne's own mayoral campaign. It was a shocking crime that remains unsolved to this day. 20 years ago. Okay. I don't care what happens to me. That's what I'm afraid of. Heaven. Well, he's definitely got the obsessive thing down. Aston Martin. Oh. Thumb. Oh. Drive. Thumb drive. <laughs> Sick sense of humor, man. It's encrypted. Oh, this guy's hilarious. Sick, sick sense of humor. Well, well, well. Mayor's so walking out. Family values. Oh, shit. No idea. That's the penguin. I want to see the penguin. I don't know what you're talking about, pal. You looking for me? How is this Colin Farrell? I love it. That's her, right? It's okay, baby. No, it's not. Oh, the mask matches the the green guy that was pulling the the robbery at the convenience store. Maybe it was her. The boots match. Baby, we're gonna get the hell out of here, okay? I promise. This is the Riddler POV again. Or... Okay. So her... Her roommate, her baby, is her... Is the mystery woman with the mayor? Is she Catwoman too? <laughs> is that Selena Kyle?
What does she want from the crime scene? Hidden safe. We're pretty good at that. He hurt her? That's why he killed him? What? What does she know? Whatever it is, it's got her so spooked she won't even tell me. Ani! Baby! Commissioner Pete Savage. He was found dead earlier tonight inside the police office. Oh. This is the Riddler speaking. <laughs> oh, man. I will do again and again and again until the truth about our city will finally be unmasked. You got a lot of cats. Never think about strays. I'm loving this so far. It just feels like a real world murder mystery with. A vigilante who dresses like a bat. That seems to be his theme here. It's a maze. Despite all my rage, I'm still just a rat in a cage. You make it sound like he had it coming. Here's a cop. Bring him into the light. And you'll find where I'm at. The hell is that? <laughs> I don't know about these things. I need to see you in there. You really don't care what happens to me in there tonight, do you? Not great reception, I guess. <laughs> That's going to become a plot point. Looks like I broke his nose. He's an after duty cop. <laughs> Are you sure no one can see these things in my eyes? Don't worry. I'm watching it. <sighs> you didn't say no. You didn't say he was sure. Oh, That's Coulson. the DA. Gil Coulson. And he's coming over. You happy? I mean, this Riddler, he's going after the most powerful people in this city. He knows so much. Hey. Carmine Falcon. Hey. How you been? I don't have a relationship with him, okay? Well, that's not what it looked like. Wait, what are you doing? <laughs> Need a ride? That's me right there. Fucky! This guy's going to be the next one to die, the DA. I hope. Yeah. Is the Riddler in his car? Oh. Oh. Yeah, like these murders, they're not elegant or efficient or... They're just... They're just brutal violence. What's he putting on his neck? Oh, what's the next tableau? Is Bruce Wayne making an actual appearance? It's a public memorial for Mary Mitchell. Serial killers like to follow reaction to their crimes. You are El Rata Elada. Rat with wings? It's slang for pigeon. Does that, does that mean anything to you? Yeah. Or a Stop. bat. <laughs> the Riddler Army's out in force. Same boots. Monica? Or somebody else? Or is that Selena too? Hold your light bike here, would you slick? No. Hey, watch it, fellas. You got the prince of the city there. His father saved my life. I think he took the Hippocratic oath. That's good. You know, you really could be doing more for this city. <laughs> Family has a history of philanthropy, but as far as I can tell, you're not doing anything. What's happening outside? Jeez. Is it Coulson? Come up! this place out now <laughs> the phone calls for the Batman I'm guessing in these trying times never forget I'm just a phone call away answer I've been trying to reach you your 
a part of this too. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Three riddles in two minutes. Number one. It can be cruel, poetic, or blind. But when it's denied, it's violence you may find. Cruel, Love? Poetic. Justice. Huh? Justice. The answer's justice. Number two. If you are justice, please do not lie. What is the price for your blind eye? Bribes. Nothing! How much? Ten grand? Ten Gs a month? I get a monthly payment just- Since your justice is so select, please 31. tell us which vermin you're paid to protect. Which vermin? The rat. I go out this way, it's just me. But if I give over that name, I have family, people I love. They'll kill them too. Oh well. So much bigger than you could ever imagine. Stop. Man. I would have been tracking that counter a little more closely if I was Bruce. <laughs> I got you on assaulting an officer. You got me on assaulting three. Hey! What's the matter with you? Two. Just give me a minute. I'll get him to cooperate. Two minutes. Two minutes. That's all Coulson got, too. You gotta get you out of here. Punch me in the face. Who's the mustache with the broken nose? <laughs> Holy jeez. Okay. Do we have glider wings? What do we got? What toys do we have? Squirrel suit? Ow, 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 ow. I, I love that. He's definitely just human. <laughs> He's not a miraculous magician. He doesn't have infinite super tech toys. I did. I don't trust any of them. Do you? I only trust you to rat with wings like a stool pigeon. Or a bat. The penguin's got wings too. Has it ever not been raining in this town, in this movie? I love the mood and the vibe and the... the greasiness of some of these shots. Okay, so they're just selling drop. drop. This is a buy. Looks like they got Maroney's operation up and running again. Why they never shot it down at all. Oh, that's Selena. This just got complicated. Those assholes are coming back. Is that Annika? You think you can come after my money, huh? Finally, we get the Batmobile. Oh, it's a beast. I love how grounded this is. Come on! Come on! This guy's crazy! Uh, 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 I love its lines. It's just a throwback. Yeah, no miracle driving here. Taking some hits. <laughs> and trailer moment. Out of hell. Damn. Holy shit. <laughs> 
another trailer shot. I guarantee you they put like a spur sound effect on his steps. They did the same thing with Boba Fett back in the original trilogy. I ain't no rat! Maybe we can talk about what they did to my partner's face. Holy God, what are you this showing me? His head. Come on! Open your eyes! God, I love Jeffrey Wright. You are El Rata Alada. It's like the voice Spanish I have on. What? It's La. La Rat. Rat with wings. You know what that sounds like to me? A friggin' bat! Huh? You. Yeah. URL. <laughs> ah. The hell does that mean? Is he or isn't he? Big picture. Biggest piece of the puzzle yet. I grew up from a seed, tough as a weed. But in a mansion, in a slum, I'll never know where I come from. He's an orphan. You gonna have timing? <laughs> Walking like a penguin. Waddling like a penguin. You can't get sent to bitches! No guns. Yeah, man, that's your thing. Whoa, okay. Just a bunch of squatters? Drop heads? Okay. What the hell is that? Are they hearing the music or is that just soundtrack? They're hearing it. Is this the death of Thomas Wayne? Win or lose, the Wayne Foundation pledges a one billion dollar donation to start a charitable endowment for public works. Get money to people and projects who need it now. Sins of the Father. Is about growth. Was Thomas corrupt? Jesus, his next victim is Bruce Wayne. <laughs> Does the Riddler know that Batman is Bruce? Probably not. No, 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 Alfred. Yeah, he does. He knows. Oh, no. See you in hell. <laughs> okay, so maybe he doesn't know. Maybe the Riddler doesn't know that, that Bruce is the Batman. The contact's still alive? Where are you? Can you see me? Her body was in his car. I'm gonna find him and I'm gonna make him pay. You gonna help me? How close did you have to get? To Penguin. To Falcone. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. Falcone owes me. No, really. Why is that? Because he's my father! Oh, okay. Didn't see that coming. My mother worked at the 44 Below. Then one night my mother told me who he was. I'm sorry. You assume the worst in people. Which, well, maybe we're not so different after all. All anyone cares about in this place are these white, privileged assholes. <laughs> now, Thomas and Bruce Wayne, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, that psycho's right to go after these creeps. Just don't make any moves without me, understand? It's no more dangerous than you know. <laughs> From a very young age, my family, Martha's family, the Arkhams, instilled in both of us that giving back is not just an obligation. Martha was an Arkham? That is that is canon? Our family's legacy. Cool. Martha herself was in and out of institutions for years, and they didn't want anyone to know. You Bruce Wayne. I want to see Carmine Falcone. Is it true? What? That report of business. Did you kill him? For my father? Look, your father was in trouble. One fear isn't enough. <laughs> Maroney was worried. That your father would be in my pocket. Maroni had his... Salvatore Maroni. Killed his parents. Father kill. Do I know it for a fact? I'm just saying it sure looked that way to me. All these years, I've spent fighting for him. Believing that he was a good man. He 
was a good man. And in a moment of weakness, he turned to Falcone, but he never thought Falcone would kill that man. He told Falcone he was going to the police. So Falcone did it. Mr. Falcone. It's not you. I thought it was you. Uh oh. Ah. She's got the the mustache cop. I see that. What did Mitchell tell you? No, nothing. You gave some information, and some drops thing, and that's how he became mayor. Just take it easy. Jesus, he's driving. A falcon has wings too. Falcon is the rat. Come on, vengeance. Let's go kill that son of a bitch. Not that way. There is no other way. He owns the city. Cross that line. You'll become just like him. Don't throw your life away. I got nine of them. <laughs> I was just hoping I could talk to you for a minute. Absolutely. Hey! <laughs> He's not in costume. I was hoping that maybe you could help me find her because she's. I'm so sorry. I understand. Yeah. No, that's okay. I have a tissue. Does he know that she knows that she's his daughter? I'll make a deal with you. Oh, man. He told you about that, huh? Hey, Dad. What? Just put down the gun, honey. This is for my mother. Oh! <laughs> oh, brilliant sequence. Brilliant. Oh. Ow, is a My own flesh and blood. She does have some claws on you her. You made me do this. He has to pay! You don't have to pay with him. Whatever I've done, it's all going with me to my grave. <laughs> you have the right to remain silent. Goddamn rat. I'll spray paint your ass! I shoot! I shoot! Who did shoot? Bring him out to the light. We shall keep him up there! Yeah. Yeah. Definitely Riddler's lair. Chosen because it's outside the club, I suppose. Very uh, Nighthawks, reminiscent to that classic, is it Hopper painting? The glasses look familiar. Who is it? Is it anyone we know? Which one's you? <laughs> you tell me. Patrick Parker, Edward Nashton. Wearing gloves. <laughs> this one's not a rat. <laughs> to the Batman. Some kind of pry tool? Is it a chisel? No, it's the murder weapon. Killed Mitchell with it. Password protected. Can you get in? Copying his drive now. Take some time. What I know now. We'll get in. I know the real you. He knows. Maybe this is all coming to an end. What is? The Batman. I told you I'd see you in hell. If only you knew how long I've been waiting for this day. Bruce. Wayne. All they could talk about was poor Bruce Wayne. Orphan. Do you know what being an orphan is? 
There's 30 kids to a room. But oh no. Poor Bruce. He's the only one we didn't get. <laughs> he doesn't know. All everyone wants to do is unmask you, but they're missing the point. I'm looking at the real you right now. My mask <laughs> allowed me to be myself completely. We're such a good team. We're not a team. You inspired me. You're out of your goddamn mind. What? You're gonna die. Oh, oh, no, 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 no! Oh, nobody! We were gonna be safe here. We could watch the whole thing together. What have you done? <laughs> what has he done? Boy, this guy's a real nut job, huh? Killing Mitchell with a friggin' carpet tool. It's a carpet Tucker. tool. Hey, whoa, 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 what are you? What's it say? A real change. The new mayor. It is time for retribution. I what are these lights? Fans all along the city seawall. No. Already going? City's gonna flood. And that's where all of you come in. No. Uh -oh. It's time for the lies to Riddler Army, fall. Jesus. Oh. Everyone, everyone, I just need your attention. Yeah. Okay, okay. not not fatal, but <laughs> no guns, except as clubs. Oh. It's a seriously bulletproof outfit. Second time he could be unmasked. What's he doing? He's not afraid to die, we know that much. He just did that so the risk of electrocution went away. First kitty, first person he rescues is the orphan. Martial law is in effect. Huh. But the criminal element never sleeps. Together, we will learn to believe in Gotham again. Wow. I have had an effect here. But not the one I intended. I have to become more. A hero. People need hope. And that joy's terrible. Him raining on your brain like that. <laughs> Gotham loves a comeback story. Is this... I'm hearing Jared Leto, am I not? 
Who are you? Well, that's the question. The less of them you have, the more one is worth. Is it? Or is it not? Ah, I can't decide. It didn't look like him. At least not the Jared Leto Joker we know. You know this place is never going to change. I have to try. It's going to kill you eventually. You know that. Why don't you come with me? Who am I kidding? You're already spoken for. <laughs> Matt Reeves, I don't know you, but I like you. Uh, you're all over this. You wrote it, you produced it. This is your baby. Giacchino. I knew I liked the music. Barry Keegan is our unseen Arkham prisoner. All right. So there's plans there. Ooh. Goodbye. How fun was that? Very different. Very, very different from your typical superhero movie. And even quite different from what we've come to expect from a Batman movie. Whether it's the Dark Knight trilogy or the Zack Snyder version. This... Uh, it, it's it's even more grounded, I think, than either of those. Because we're living just in this Gotham world. We're not tying ourselves to other superheroes with real superpowers. And we can, we can create this Gotham. This is why I've always loved Batman. That's just populated by people. And Batman's just another person. And, and, it's, and it's like Riddler said it, um, towards the end here, when he's wearing the mask, that's his real self. You know, we, we've, we've just, that, that, that idea has been discussed over and over again in Batman lore. And I think it's pretty sort of commonly accepted at this point that Bruce Wayne is his secret identity. He, he is not, he is not Bruce Wayne. He is Batman and he's, puts on a mask when he has to be Bruce Wayne. But that wasn't what this movie was about. This movie, as dark and as grounded and as gritty and as unglamorously violent as it was, ended up being about hope. It, it, it's almost the opposite of... Batman Begins, <clears throat> where, uh, you know, it starts with um, Batman being vengeance. He, he isn't a hero. He's, he's got his own personal mission. And um, if it means cleaning up the city as he goes, then that's an added benefit. But ultimately, he's looking for the killer of his parents. And that's the path he's following, just like Selina's following this path of, of vengeance for her friend Annika. But that changes. And by the end, Batman isn't about vengeance anymore. He's about saving Gotham. He's about saving the people of Gotham and giving hope. And he's, he's a first responder, basically, at the end. When he, uh, you know, plunged into the pool, the water at the bottom of the arena, and lit the flare, and pulled the um, the ex mayor's son and the new mayor out of the wreckage and led everybody to safety, he wasn't being a superhero. He was just being a a, a hero, um, and you know, Batman especially lately, often isn't equated with hero. He's often equated with anti-hero or vigilante or... But but at the end of this movie, he's a hero. He's, um, 
just doing what any man can do to help those around him. And, you know, if we take the, the new mayor's uh, words to heart, then maybe we can believe that we we can start rebuilding Gotham's faith in its institutions, in it, in your fellow citizens. And, and there it might be hope for Gotham. But yeah, interesting. This might be the first superhero movie I can I can remember where there was nothing um, stylized or theatrical about it. Um, you know, e even as in the darkest versions of Batman that we've had before, we've had these moments of theater. Batman used theater to his benefit to instill fear, etc. But I really didn't feel it in this movie. I really felt like it, it was all about practicality and reality. And, you know, as, as much as he's got a good suit that's clearly damn bulletproof, he, he he's and he's a good fighter. He's not uh, the best fighter in the world. He's not invulnerable. He's not... Uh, a ninja magician who can just disappear in in a puff of smoke. He was more vulnerable in this movie than I can remember him being in at the handful of movies before. You know, at the mercy of the police department. Um, and if it wasn't for Commissioner, uh, for Lieutenant Gordon, he would have been unmasked and beaten up by cops. You know, like. He can be outnumbered. He can be overpowered, even just by a by the you know a handful of the Riddler army. He almost uh, met his match. So I, I appreciate that. I, I have a hard time with some superhero movies when the the powers and the stakes become too much, and and they become almost abstract. There was nothing abstract about this movie. Every th character in it felt like a real person. And yes, Batman inspired the Riddler, and that's why the Riddler's army were claiming vengeance as their catchphrase as the at the end. But really, th this felt so much more like a a, a crime drama then it felt like a superhero movie. Um, this felt like Seven. This felt like a, a lot of um, 70s police movies. This felt uh, a bit like The French Connection or Chinatown. And a lot of the design elements sort of had 70s callbacks to them too. And, and, and you know, let's remember, you know, New York was at its absolute lowest in the 70s, crime was at an all-time high. It, it, it was a city desperately in needing of fixing. Obviously, Gotham is the stand-in for New York. So, yeah, in a lot of senses, this, this really had a 70s vibe. I mean, the Batmobile even looked like a, a 70, you know, a souped-up 70s Mustang almost with its with its lines. So yeah, th th this felt like a, uh, a a rogue cop movie almost, instead of a a superhero movie. I I loved seeing th this uneasy relationship between Batman and Gordon and the rest of the the GCPD. Batman's just sort of tolerated, but just barely at crime scenes. You know, and only because Gordon's got his back and Gordon's high enough up the chain of command that that's somehow okay. But, but I liked it. I, I it, it, it felt like the more real way that that kind of relationship might work if there, if a city did have a caped vigilante who seemed to be on the side of justice, but, you know, a lot of people cops included might consider him a little bit crazy maybe that this movie feels the most like how that might actually look i i really dug it 
And uh, obviously there's plans for more. It, it, in a way, this felt a bit like the, um, the spiritual equal of the Joker movie. And, and I get that these aren't operating in the same universe, especially with the introduction of uh, Barry Keegan as presumably the Joker in this universe. But in tone and in reality, like the, the level of reality embraced in the movie is very much felt on par with the Joker. And, and while the Joker was like literally set <clears throat> I can't remember whether it was late 70s or early 80s, but certainly in that retro era, this movie, The Batman, like I said, really felt like, even though it was clearly modern with the technology and stuff, it was still very much um, designed with the 70s in mind, it felt like. Really cool to see Andy Serkis just acting. Um, I think, you know, he, he's so celebrated as a, um, as a motion capture performer and character actor that it's easy to overlook the fact that he's actually just a damn good actor. And I thought he was a, a really excellent version of Alfred. I really like Zoe Kravitz's take on Catwoman. Uh, I, I, I love the character in general of Selena Kyle in this movie, making her the daughter of Falcone. Now, I, I, that's the first I've ever heard of that. I mean, I don't know if that's been established in the comics or somewhere else in the Batman universe, but I like that take on it. And... I love getting into the Gotham underworld. It, it's always um, a, such a rich environment to explore. So, you know, Falcone's great. I mean, John Turturro, what, what can you say? He's just got this, you know, crazy genius about him. I don't know much about Paul Dano, but man, did he do a great Riddler. And, and I buy Pattinson as Batman completely. I, I, I think he did an awesome job. I don't know how he compares to, to Bale, who's up until now my favorite my, my favorite Batman. Might sort of have to do a little uh, compare and contrast, but I thought Pattinson was awesome. Yeah, really, really, really strong. And I look forward to seeing what they what more they do with this Batman universe. I cross my fingers that DC has a, a bit of a, a strategy for their future. Um, you know, they've got such a, a wealth of really strong characters, but there doesn't seem to be a collective vision and strategy with how to let the, the DC comic universe evolve. But I'm encouraged when I see a movie like this. And clearly there's, uh, there's seeds for more in this particular version of the DC comic universe. So I'm, I'm psyched to see where it goes. And I really had a good time. I mean, I think that's what ultimately, you know, like if you went in expecting a straight superhero movie, you might have felt a little let down. It had different pacing. It was a little slower than um, you may have been hoping for, but but I really felt like it uh, it was a really strong story that was really well explored, and despite the fact that it clocks in at just under three hours, I didn't feel like it lagged. I didn't feel like it dragged, and you know, that's a good sign. That's a really good sign for a long movie. So I'm uh, I'm psyched. I'm really happy I got to see it. Um, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. I wouldn't be surprised if this is a divisive movie, but I'd love to hear whether your thoughts, whether you loved it or hated it or fell somewhere in, in the middle. And until next time, everybody, take care, stay healthy, and we'll see you soon. Cheers.